Oh, this premiere is amazing. You know, we, we started uh, about three years ago together, and now to be here tonight with this kind of reception and this kind of uh, affection from the fans is a dream come true. Look, um, I think it's, it's a mature Thor, you know, like we, we've seen him in Avengers and now he's been off, uh, you know, the, the, the clean-up in the universe. All the, uh, the you know, the, the enemies of, of Asgard have been running rampant over the world and the universe and he's had to go and, and uh, you know, arrest those individuals and, and tidy things up. And so he's has a battle-worn sense to him, but um, we're in for a pretty exciting journey on, on this one where we pick up. You know, at this point where we uh, we see the guys, you know, um, Loki is is locked in a cell. The key's been thrown away, and, and, and he's uh, basically to be forgotten about. Um, and uh, Thor's faced with the situation where he needs to recruit Loki and and, and align the two of them uh, in order to defeat this this enemy that's attacking them. That's the greatest enemy they've ever faced, and uh, it's the, the, his last resort. But he has no other choice. So. The feedback that we've been given uh, has been that it's funnier, the action's bigger, the drama's bigger, it's just keeps going and a great continuation from where Iron Man and Avengers and Captain America all left off, you know, and I think that's what's special is all the films seem to flow into each other nicely.